uh, friends before we proceed further i would just like to discuss one more uh, concept over here uh, in this case in how many ways can 7 plus sines and 5 minus sines be arranged in a row so that no two minus signs are together now friends uh, before we do this question i would just i'd like to ask a simple question uh, see we just have to arrange maybe 7 plus signs How many uh, ways do we have, right? If we have seven persons, we can arrange them in seven factorial ways, right? So this is also quite simple. If we have to arrange seven plus signs, there are seven factorial ways, isn't it? So the most of the student make the same mistake, right? See, persons can seven persons can be arranged in seven factorial ways, but seven plus signs cannot be arranged in seven factorial ways. Why? It's a big question why they cannot be because see all the persons when we are arranging the persons all the persons are different from each other right all the persons are unique right you can make a clear distinguish between the two persons right but if we talk about the plus signs all the plus signs are identical isn't it right so this is what the arrangement of seven plus signs and i'm just making one more arrangement over here right this is also another arrangement of uh, seven plus signs but in this arrangement i have taken this plus over here and this plus over here so do you agree don't no because it doesn't look to be a different arrangement both the arrangements are same right why because all the plus signs are identical right similarly suppose um, you have seven one rupee coin right maybe five one rupee coin one two three four five right here i'm just trying to make you clear about identical and unidentical objects right so this is also an important part while we discuss about permutation and combination so uh, see these are five one rupee coin and uh, suppose you have to choose one one coin right now how many choices do you have right you have to choose one coin how many choices do you have it's simple once again the five choices but do you really think five choices are there what is the difference between this coin and this coin all the coins are same right so just have a single choice that just pick up any coin right because all the coins are identical but if we talk about person that means if you have to choose a person from these five persons so the, all the persons are different from each other so it makes a difference which person you are choosing right so if you have to choose the persons there will be five choices but if you have to choose one coin from five identical coins then you just have one choice just choose anyone right so be clear about identical and unidentical objects right if all the objects are identical that means if n objects are identical then the arrangement will be just single that is just one arrangement is possible right because you cannot make a clear distinction between the two arrangements of identical objects right so i hope you are clear between the arrangement of identical and unidentical objects so uh, based on that concept we just try to do this problem now let's try this problem in how many ways can 7 plus signs and 5 minus signs be arranged in a row so that no two minus signs are together so what we do first of all we make the arrangement of 7 plus signs right so it's 1 2 3 4 5 six and seven right now we don't want the minus this is this is a single way of arranging all the plus signs as i have already discussed that all the plus signs are identical right now the five minus signs should not be together right if they don't have to be together that means we have to insert the minus signs between these two plus between the plus signs right so we have how many options one two three four five six seven and eight right so we have eight places uh, where we can arrange the minus signs so they won't be together right so but we have just five minus signs so from these eight places we have to select five places getting me any of the five places we have to select so all the combinations of five places we are getting into eight c five okay so 
after selection of the five places we have to arrange this is still here we just have done the selection right after selecting five places we have to arrange the five minus signs on these five places so further five factorial ways will be there yes no because minus signs are also identical so there will not be any sort of other arrangement just one way of arranging so by hc5 hc5 uh, we are uh, doing because we are selecting five places out of eight right so that's why hc5 we are taking now what hc5 is hc5 is hc3 now hc3 is what 8 into 7 into 6 by 3 factorial that is 6 so these are 56 ways right a very small answer so if you are going to uh, assume this plus signs to be unidentical your answer will be very big and believe me if you are appearing for any competitive exam that particular answer will there be in the options right and if you are not conceptually clear you will end up marking wrong answer wrong option right so this is uh, how we differentiate between an unidentical and identical objects right Now friends, uh, we have discussed a good number of uh, concepts in permutation and combination and uh, as I told you, I'll be just using a single formula that is NCR uh, in the permutation combination topic, right? Now I think we are ready to take more challenging questions, right? Because the concept will remain same. Now how to apply this concept is the main uh, the, the task that we have to achieve, right? Because each and every question is quite different from the other, right? So that means you will be getting a series of unique questions right but the basic concept of arrangement will remain same now we just have to learn to apply that particular concept according to the requirement of the questions right so let's begin to take the challenging questions now and now onwards we'll be taking a mix a bag of questions so you'll be able to apply the concept in each and every question right